we're going to find the shortest path between two nodes on a weighted graph. We're going to do this by applying Dijkstra's algorithm, which is presented in the bottom left here to help us. So starting at node A, which is what we do, we work out the distance between node A and itself, well, that's zero, and we write down a little subscript A here. Why we do that becomes apparent shortly. And then we work out the distance between A and all the other nodes. So the distance between A and B, well, that's, that's three, and again, we just write down a little A there, and between A and C, that's five, and then between A and D, well, we can't get to D, so we write down infinity for that. Um, a and E, well, that's 8. And then A and F, again, we can't get to F, so we just write down infinity there. What we do then is we mark our node as visited. So step 4 here, we need to do that. So we mark our node A here as visited. Then the next step is to select the unvisited node with the shortest path. Well, that's now 3, so that's, so that's B. So there's node B with, with the shortest path of 3. So we write down B here, copy, copy that cell down here. And then again, we do the same thing with B as we did with A. So figure out what the distance between B and all the other nodes are. Well, we've done between A and B, so we don't need to do that. So now we do between B and C. Well, now the path between B and C is 1 plus the 3 to get from A. So actually the path from A now is actually 4. So we need to update the distance because it's smaller. So step 3 here is telling us we need to update this because it's now 4, a weight of 4 as opposed to 5. But now we need to write down also the B here because we've gone via node B. Distance between B and D, well we still can't get to, to D, so that just copies that down. Now B and E again, we can't get to E, so we can't do any better than the 8 there, so we just, just copy that down. And um, between B and F, again, we can't do anything there, so that's, that's just infinity there. And then we mark the node B as, as visited, so we visited all, the, all its neighbouring nodes. Um, then we go on to C, because that's the next node with the shortest path, so that's C, so we write down C here, copy this down here. And we've already visited A and B, so we don't need to worry about that, so now from C to D, um, we can get to C now, we can get to D now from, from C, so that's now 4 plus another 4, so that's now 8. So it's a weighting of 8 to get from A to, to D now, and we write down um, C as our little subscript there, because we're going via C. And then to get to E, well, to get to E, we, we can go of C, it's 4 steps, and then it's another 2, another two, weighting of 2 to get to E. So actually we're improving on, on 8. So we need to update the distance here, because it's smaller. So we write down 6C. And then to get to F, again, we still can't get to F, so we're just copying that down there. And now C has visited all its neighbouring nodes, so we can just underscore that. So we select E now, because that's the unvisited node with the shortest path. And uh, we just copy, copy this down here. So now we need to visit from, from E. We only have to visit two more nodes, D and F, because all the other, other nodes have been visited from to, to E from the other nodes. So to D, again, we can't do any better than, than 8 there, so it's actually 9 if you go via E, so it's actually no better than the 8, so we just copy the 8 down here. But we can get to F now, so we, so we go so right down 7 here, 7 steps, it's the 6 plus, plus the 1, and we're saying we're going via E there. Now we have visited all the nodes from E, so just underscore that to mark it as visited. The next unvisited node with the shortest path, well, that, that's F. And again, we can't do any better than the 8 to get to D, so we can just copy that down there, and then we just uh, underscore that to indicate that we visited all the other neighbouring nodes. And then finally, just to, just to finish off now, we need to visit node um, D, and we just finish that off and we underscore it because now we've visited all the other nodes. Now, what we need to do to work out the path is to essentially trace these subscript nodes which we've written down here. So, we're starting at F here, node F, and then it's saying to us, well, we need to go to E. Um, so, we go to E, and then, then it's telling us to go to um, C, and then it's telling us to go to B. 
and that is telling us to go to A. So there we have it. We've worked out the shortest path between A and F. And actually using this method, what we're able to do is to work out the shortest path between A and any of the other nodes, which is actually what we've done here. So we've actually, on the way to working out the shortest path between A and F, we've actually also worked out the shortest path between A and, and all the other nodes too.